Headed back to New Orleans Driving in the country Past old tiny scenes Big birds were singing In the tall willow trees Mighty fine Three words written on the paper bag I miss you was written in a message in black Thrown in a van to a thousand miles back A better time Hey there everybody, welcome back. We're going to have a really fun review today. We're going to talk about a Gitzo tripod. I've had it for about two months and uh, honestly it's one of the lightest, smallest, yet still pretty tall tripods I've used in quite some time. Now it is called the GK1545T 82TQDUS Traveler Kit by Gitzo. Yeah, it's a mouthful. That's why I had to read it off the box. Now, one way to know that you have an authentic Gitzo tripod is uh, whenever you buy it, there will be this little, uh, what do you want to call it, QR code with this little flashy Gitzo genuine product sticker on the bottom of the box or on the side of the box. Now, right off the top, you're going to need to keep that. Don't throw that away. Don't throw the box away until you've registered your product. You scan the QR code with your phone, and then you get to activate an extra six and a half years of warranty on this. So you get seven years of warranty once you have it registered. So as we go over the tripod, we'll talk about my pros and cons about it. Now, even if it is very, very expensive, it still has some cons. So don't think that this is the God's gift to uh, tripod photography. So let's open this box up and see what we got. Is It does have a bag. It does come with its own bag. They're so proud of it, they put Gitzo right on the bag. So no one will question what's in the bag. They will question the quality of it because this bag is absolutely garbage. Literally anything could rip this bag. It's a glorified dust cover. So unless you're putting your tripod away for a while and you're not going to be using it, uh, just put the put the bag back in the box. You're not going to want to use it, which is kind of funny because whenever you go and uh, look at the other brands that you can buy, like for example, we have this uh, you know was this a Manfrotto Action Sport tripod, one of the first tripods I ever bought several years ago. This bag is actually really nice. It's got cushion to it. Has a little carrier strap built into it and this little dainty tripod. Now, the funny thing is, this tripod was like 65, 70 bucks. And it's got a nicer bag than a $650 Gitzo. Doesn't make sense to me. And real quick, just for an easy size comparison, this is that uh, cheap little $70 Manfrotto Action Sport tripod. Then here is the folded up Gitzo with the uh, ball head attached. It's pretty much the same size. It's about, uh, I'd say, 16 inches in length, folded up with the ball head. So really, if you have plenty of space for this little chintzy piece of junk, you're gonna have plenty of room for something really nice. And this is carbon fiber, so the whole tripod with the ball head is only, I believe, 2.3 pounds or so. So honestly, super freaking light. And this model I bought with the Gitzo ball head, because if you try and put a different ball head on there, it's uh, not gonna fold up as compact. And when you use the Gitzo ball head, the knobs and stuff kind of poke out between the legs. So that's super nice. And the Arca Swiss head also sticks between the legs. And it pretty much stays the whole diameter all the way down. So with the ball head on there, it doesn't really make the legs grow any wider. So as a quick example of uh, using an aftermarket non gitso ball head, we have this little cheapy, uh, probably $30 per gear head. I've had this for a while, it's Arca on top. This thing is honestly not gonna stand a chance to this gitso ball head, but we'll unfold the legs and we'll switch the head real quick to show you what it would look like. Now it almost feels like a crime putting this uh, junky 
ball head on this set of legs, but we'll see how it looks. To fold up the legs, there's this little black lock right here. Now all you gotta do is move it to the right and just bend the leg up. And we'll get to this later in the video, but there's also a secondary position so you can get closer to the ground. If you push it over to the right again and move it up again, then you can just fold it right up. Here's our first conundrum. It's kind of hard to tell if you can see on the camera, but putting that uh, aftermarket cheapo ball head on here that's not good so, it doesn't really form inside the legs very well. So that's going to be a problem. It's going to make the legs space out a little bit further and it may or may not fit inside of your uh, camera bag or where you're putting it. Not that it wouldn't fit somewhere, but it just makes it less compact. Now, if you're watching this video and you want a suggestion for a cheapo $20, $30 uh, ball head, I would suggest the uh, Pergear TH3 Pro. I do have a video earlier in the YouTube history of this. It does work pretty good for the price, but it's not gonna be as smooth or as tight as you would like for a higher end ball head if you have more, more heavy equipment to put on there. And real quick, you can definitely see the size difference between these two ball heads. This per gear is a uh, very chonky Gitzo ball head. There's two rods that connect to the thumb screw to actually where the arca plate goes. So that as you tighten and loosen it, the rods go in and out and gives it extra support too. And the ball head itself takes even the, the lightest amount of pressure and it is pretty clamped in there. Just like a little bit of a turn, nothing too crazy. And it doesn't go anywhere really. But if you really crank it down, it's definitely not going anywhere. There's a little bit of what looks like a ceramic bearing inside there that holds this, whatever this WS2 squared coating means on the ball itself. But whatever it is, it's super smooth. I'll put it next to my mic. You can't even hear it moving there hardly. Now with this ball head that's supplied in the kit, from uh, Gitzo with the legs that has a capacity of 22 pounds or about 10 kilograms. And also on the bottom of the tripod, as you can see, there is no hook to uh, add any extra weight, but you can buy a hook from Gitzo themselves to put on there, but I'm sure that's expensive and kind of ridiculous. But if you don't mind it being a little off center, there is a little loop here that you can add a little like a carabine or two and hang weight off the side, but it's not gonna be in the center of the, of the column itself. So your weight's gonna be a little, little off. Now, if you want to put anything else on here besides what Gizzo supplies for their ball head, this is 34.87 millimeters across on top. So if you don't want anything super ridiculous on there, like my fluid head looks kind of silly on this thing because it's so, so skinny. And the 504X is like this big chonker. And then, just like all the other twist locks, to grip all three, pull them all out at the same time, and just run back up the leg. Eventually, you'll get pretty quick with it. You don't have to loosen them the whole way. And with the center column up all the way, this is pretty much the height you're going to get out of it. Now, I am six foot tall, so this is, eh, I'd say, probably close to five foot six or so. Now the center column on this is about an inch in diameter or about 24 mils. Now the thickness of the largest leg segment is about 25.34 mils and the smallest leg segment here in the bottom is about 14 mils in diameter. And pretty much all the measurements I got using digital calipers and the, uh, the thickness of all of the leg walls was about 1.2 to 1.15 mils thick. Now that doesn't sound like very thick, but this is carbon fiber and it's very light, like just one finger holding it up. And it's, it's built very well. I've had it down at the beach and uh, in salt water. I've taken it through the mud. I've carried it all over the place in the past uh, two months or so. And it's performed flawless. Just whenever you're done, obviously you wanna clean out the salt and the sand and everything else in the, in the threads. You don't want your carbon fiber getting super scratched up in there because that might uh, reduce the structural integrity of it. And this is a pretty, pretty cool little thing they added. I'm sure other higher end brands have this as well. But whenever you unscrew the legs and you want to clean everything, you go to pull the legs out. Right here, there's actually a uh, 
black gasket so that you don't get any moisture and sand and dirt and debris up inside the legs whenever you go to retract everything. And they are lubricated and all of the threads here are aluminum and inside of the nut itself is also aluminum so you don't really have any plastic on plastic. And the only thing that's really plastic on this would be the uh, plastic bushings that hold the legs in place. There is also an option to buy feet for the tripod so that you can unscrew these rubber feet then you can install studs on the bottom. That's uh, if you want to. Personally, I have them on my Benro, but I don't really use them a whole lot. It's just kind of a pain to constantly switch out the rubber feet for the spikes. But I'm sure with Gidso, that's probably be an extra fee as well. They don't really ship a lot of extra things with their tripods. So you kind of just like get what you get. Kind of reminds me of Apple. You buy Apple products because you know they're really good and great and reliable. But then you're like, man, I want these extra things. And then they go in and sell you like 15 different adapters. As I mentioned earlier, you can put a hook on the bottom of the tripod, but you got to buy that extra as well. But when you take that little rubber bit off the bottom and the uh, metal screw cap, you can take this off and then flip this upside down, put it back inside there and match up the trough with the notch on the inside. Put your cap back on. Don't forget to put your O-ring back on there. That way whenever it slams down, it doesn't hurt your tripod. So now you can get real close to the ground and then you can do macro within inches of the, of the ground itself or a flower or an insect or whatever you happen to be shooting. But speaking of macro, let's say you want to have a wider base for your macro photography or video. Now let's say you want to get closer to the ground, even if your ball head's on the bottom or the top. As mentioned earlier, you can put this little black lever in the second position, and now you have a wider, more sturdy stance. For better stabilization, you can get even closer to the ground. And if you don't feel like putting the uh, center column back to the normal position, you don't have to worry about it. Just fold the legs down as if you're going to go take some uh, photos or walk around, and now it's closed up this way, even though it's not as compact as it normally would be if you uh, switch the center column around to the normal position. Now, if this video was at all helpful for you and you enjoyed it and you were really considering a Gitso, I highly suggest that you uh, buy one and it's not just me being biased. I've known for a while that these are really good tripods. I just never really took the plunge to buy one, but I'm glad I did. It was a really good purchase. Made air travel a lot easier having a smaller tripod without carrying around my giant nine foot tall Benro. And it folds up nice and compact. And you could easily fit this inside your backpack or where your tripod goes on the back of the backpack or on the side of it, you know, wherever you need it to go. So if you enjoyed the video, please give me a subscription, like the video, comment down below what your opinion is of Gitso, maybe RRS or any other brands out there that you really enjoy. Now, obviously, there's a tripod for everybody out there at a specific price point. I just really don't suggest anyone to spend less than 100 bucks on a tripod because you're probably going to get something that's going to drop your equipment. And you would rather buy a $130, $150 tripod than replace a $200 lens and still have that junky $70 tripod. And just as a quick reminder, I'll have a link for this down below in the description for Amazon as I am an Amazon associate. And any of that amount that you buy on there, I will get like a little bit of a kickback between 3 and 5% depending on what time of the year it is. But until then, happy shooting out there. You're going to need a tripod to do it. I'll see you.